Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5063878 because of this error code that is 0x8024201 now to fix it the first step is to run th these two commands so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and then copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and once the scan is 100 percent complete copy the second command and once the second scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, try to update your Windows 11. Still not working, start app readiness service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box, click on services. And over here you can see app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. Now find, now you can try to check. Still not working, then pause and restart the update. For this, you can go to Windows Update and then click on pause over here. And once it is paused, this may take some time. And once it is paused, now you hit resume updates and then you can check. Still not working, the next step is to restart Windows Update and background intelligent transfer service. For this, type in services in Windows search box, click on services. Now Find Windows Update in the list, scroll down, here you can see Windows Update, make a double click on Windows Update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on restart or start. And once this is done, now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update. That is KB5063878. And then click on search. Now over here, now over here for me it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 base system. You can check what kind of system you have. You can go to settings and then go to system, and then scroll down, click on about, and here you can see 64 based operating. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. You can click on download. And over here, click on KB5063878. And once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. This will take some time. And after that, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Use option fix problem using Windows update. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update, go to Advanced Option, scroll down, click on Recovery. Here you can see the option which says Fix Problems Using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. Now click on Reinstall Now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, you can check. The last step is to use Media Creation Tool. Now you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website on this website. You will see media creation tool over here. Uh, you can click on download now and then you can run this exe file. And once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on accept over here and then by default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next, select ISO file over here and then click on next. And then you can save it to desktop, click on save. And then let the download complete. This process will take some time and then click on finish and then let it close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install this process will take some time after the installation restart your computer and then log in to your computer and then you should be able to update your Windows 11 and 
the update should be installed successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.